Okay, well, I'm um, really excited about uh, week two. Um, definitely excited about being a home opener for us uh, after, uh, you know, a uh, road test for us uh, going back east. Um, uh, fortunate that, that we were able to come with a win and, and, uh, and really fortunate of the things that we can learn from it and that we got to play the game after the delay. But I'm um, looking forward to getting some things done and some improvements done this week. Uh, we're really excited about the opportunity to play against Baylor and, uh, you know, we're familiar with them. Uh, really, really good, good team. Um, obviously ranked and uh, they're, the, they're the standard for the Big 12. They're, they're the champs, they're the conference champs, and we get to have them here in Provo. Really excited for uh, for that game and, and excited to see how we match up from, from our game against them last year to now. So um, I know the guys are really excited about this opportunity and um, there's there's a lot of uh, connections that we have with that, that you know, that program, but uh, I think Dave Randa does an amazing job run, running a football program and, and as a coach, as a mentor, he's got a great mind and I, I like him. He's a friend of mine. So uh, we've done a lot of, uh, um, back in the day, we've done a lot of, um, you know, basically professional development, working together um, and uh, not so much now because we're, we're both head coaches and playing against each other, but uh, Tons of respect for him and, and admire him as a person and definitely him as a coach too. So I'm really excited about the matchup. He has uh, some guys on the staff that we, that we know really well that I feel really close to, and, and Jeff Grimes and Eric Mateos. And, um, but, it, you know, those guys are always be my, my friends and I always love them. But this is a, a game that we're excited about just to, to get on the field and play and, and be at home. And uh, we'll see how we match up against the conference champs. Um, really impressed with what I've seen so far from then last year, even going into this uh, into this week one. Impressed with their defense. I think um, uh, Ron Roberts does a great job on that defense. Um, obviously, Dave Miranda has a presence in the defense and and on the offensive special teams. That's what head coaches do. But uh, I, th I think uh, that group they run really well uh, as far as their schemes, um, uh, fundamentally sound. The offense is going to be strong. I know Grimey will always have them ready. Uh, the strength, you can see it up front. O-line is really, really tough and strong, so it'll be a good matchup for our guys. I think it'll be a good matchup for the our O-line and our D-line in the trenches. So um, They have tons of athleticism and speed to complement what they have up front on defense and, and on offense, and um, uh, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I, I'm excited about the environment. Uh, our fans are going to do a great job cheering us on and um, yeah, looking forward to it. So I'll take any questions you guys have, but um, this is the, they're, they're the standard. They're, they're the champs, and uh, we'll, we'll, we want to see what we, how we match up against them. Kalani, I wanted to ask about two games that you got to draw from. First of all, what do you learn from USF that you want to translate to this Saturday? And then what did you learn from the Baylor game last year that needs to translate to this game? Uh, with we, with our game um, a few days ago, I mean, I think there's a we kind of had a feeling on things that we needed to improve on. Watching the film, there's definitely a lot of missed opportunities. I thought we got a little bit um, for us the, the fundamentals of the game. I think we could do a lot better, um, and then that's on all three phases. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep working on on the technique and um, on being better with fundamentals, tackling, blocking. All that stuff we made. Uh, I was impressed though. If I'm looking at the positive stuff, I thought you could tell we we're an experienced group. Um, we had some penalties, but the penalties uh, mostly came on special teams, you know. So um, that that's where we we need to clean some stuff up. I I was really hard on the, on the kickoff team, but looking back at it, I mean, um, looking at the scheme, I, I liked it. We 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 changed some guys up and had some different looks. Got some young guys opportunities and on the kickoff team and. Uh, I, I thought our ones did good the first six kickoffs, you know, so um, or five or however however many it was that we that the ones are in there. Uh, the others need to learn, and and, and um, you know, I, I felt like it was a good learning moment for them, good learning moment for all of us, for myself as a coach, and for all our coaches. But uh, you know, good some really good positive things that I saw uh, from the game in all three phases, and some also some missed opportunities for us to to make bigger plays on offense and um, get some more disruption and make bigger plays on defense and definitely on special teams, clean, clean some things up. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll get that done in, uh, you know, starting today and going into this week. And 
Uh, we'll see how much we can get that, that stuff cleaned up. But from last year's game, Baylor to now, um, they definitely had a strong presence up front. They're a really tough team. Um, obviously, look at them. We, we knew going into it that they were going to be tough. And I know that uh, you know they have some coaches that are familiar with our, with our team, too. So um, not a lot of surprises there other than they, they were really tough and strong up front. Uh, we had to play better to, to hang in there with them and, uh, you know, lost lost it towards the end. But um, they're their conference champs for a reason, you know. And so um, hopefully, uh, I said, I've said it before, uh, sometimes the best lesson, the best teacher is, is to physically go through the experience. Um, I know our players, uh, especially up front, uh, realized that they needed to change some things, get stronger, and, and they definitely got it done. So we'll see if it applies to the football field for us on Saturday. Okay, we'll next take a question from um, John Warner and then Jay Drew. Yeah, hi, Coach. Uh, good seeing you. Um, what did you see from young Apu when you were recruiting him back in the day, and what do you see from him now as far as his development? Well, I love that kid. Love his family. Um, I mean, we offered him way early. And so when you say, what did I see? I saw a guy that was going to be a beast, you know, that uh, reminder when they committed to us first, you know. So, uh, but really proud of him. I've, I've been, I'm really close with his family. Just, and then and I followed him and, and I tried to support him as much as I can. Uh, you know, uh, even though his path didn't come through BYU, he, it's important that we support it, uh, as many people as we can. Obviously, I won't be supporting him as much as I want as I want on Saturday, but afterwards he knows. Last year's game, I, I saw his family and, and and hugged them. We took pictures and and um, just just want them to know how much we care about him. But he's he's a unique individual, tough to prepare for up front, um, but he's got a great personality and great from a great family. So um, nothing but great things to say about him. And uh, you, you see the the what he's doing. Um, he's starting to really, really master his craft, and he's getting a lot of attention for it. But that's because he, he just does all the hard work, and, and it's a natural thing for him. But I'm looking at what his, his coaches have done for him and the way they work the scheme. I think it's really elevating his game. And um, he's just growing up. I mean, he's, he's, he's a, a lot more comfortable uh, playing that position. He's always been that way when, with his using his strength. But now you're, you're seeing him be a lot more technical. Uh, and with with all the fundamentals of the D line play, I think he's going to be, he's definitely going to be a, a tough one for us to prepare for. Thank you. Hey, Kalani, uh, happy Labor Day. Um, <laughs> how much do you guys want to uh, your program? I know you have a lot of admiration for Baylor for the school and the football program. How much moving into the Big Twelve do you want to see this develop into kind of a friendly rivalry? Well, I mean, I, I I don't know. I think I, for me, it's a friendly rivalry. I I, I don't um, tell fans how to how to do it. Uh, I just want to make our fans happy. But I can tell you, we went when we were in um, you know, when we we played at Baylor last year. I thought it was a really cool experience. Obviously, their fans love their team, and so they cheered for the team. But I, I thought uh, they're respectful, and um, our from what I know from our fans, they had a good time. Um, we were able to uh, just, you know, have uh, have a moment after the game and, and, and had a word of prayer with them afterwards. Uh, I, th I think the respect will always be there. There's definitely going to be intense competition, but um, they're, they're a program that we, we want to be like. I mean, you're looking at the things that they're doing that, and the, the resources they have available to them. Uh, I think it's a great standard for us to, to look at it. If we want to um, compete and, and be conference champions, we have to uh, prepare like, like Baylor does. And, uh, they have a really good thing going for them, and, and they're getting a lot of recognition for it. I think, um, you know, for us, it's it's a uh, it's uh, I, I think for us, it's just a, a trying to find a way to compete with them and, and make sure that we have our, our moments too. But uh, the fans on both sides are great. I mean, they, their fans are good. We have good fans too, and I think there'll always be that that uh, intense competition. But it, I see it as friendly so far. I mean, I don't know if there's anybody else that sees it any differently. Yeah, I didn't mean okay. to say it wasn't friendly, but I just clarify that. Okay. You're just enjoying your Labor Day um, time off on the Zoom. I see you're not even on camera, so you're probably in your pajamas <laughs> still. Or you, or you just got back from playing golf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take questions next from uh, Kevin Reynolds and then John Kuhn. 
Kalani, we talked uh, scoring 50 points last week. How much do you think of, of that can translate to a week like Baylor? And, and what do you think the preparation level of this team is right now hosting a, a top 10 team? I feel good about our preparation. And, and um, you know, I, I, I think um, we can feel good about some of the points that we put up. But I, I, I'm looking at the opportunities that we missed on, you know, and, and some plays that we could have, that we wish we could run back again. But, um, there, there's a lot of things to learn from. We were taking advantage of, of, of learning from. That's part of our culture to learn as much as we can from some of the mistakes that we made. And we were fortunate enough that we made not as many mistakes and that we uh, capitalized on enough plays where we were able to get a comfortable lead. And then we got we, we had a bunch of guys get some reps, uh, some valuable reps that I think is going to help us out with our depth. Um, but you know, I, I think uh, I hope it carries over, but going against a really, really good team and, and, and ranked team. And, and so, uh, you know, we've we, we got to prepare for, I, I always say this every week, we have to prepare to play our best. We, that's what we I expect from our players, and um, hopefully that, that does happen, and hopefully we get that done throughout the week of preparation. Kalani, you, you showed quite a bit of balance on offense in, in the opener. Uh, in the backfield, you got great contributions from Katoa, from Brooks, and from Nakua. Um, how, how would you rate where you're at in, in terms of the running game after week one? Um, yeah, I, I like the way the, the, the team ran the ball. Um, I, I look at first ball security, taking care of the football. Um, and then uh, assignment-wise, if we were to stay on our blocks and I thought it, I thought it went really well. I, I, I like the way A Rod calls games, man. I, I think, I, think uh, I, I don't tell him what to do. I, I just want him to get a good feel for the game and and have him feel comfortable that whatever we, he can do to put more points on the board. That's all I care about. I, I like what I saw from our quarterback, and you know, we just keep working on 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 everything. But. It, I think, am I answering your question right? Or? Yeah, yeah, just just curious. Uh, you just kind of lobbed me a softball uh, 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 there. Where, so. where, it's, where <laughs> it's at, if it kind of met your expectations, how you guys performed in the backfield, because you were replacing Tyler. And, oh, yeah, and yeah. You were breaking in a new, run, yeah. a new running back to the program. And, yeah, I, I think for, I think maybe looking at, you're probably looking at the running game by committee type of deal, right? And I, I thought the guys did a great job. I, I don't. You know, Tyler was the guy that got the bulk of the runs last year and the year before, but um, who knows how this is going to work out and who's going to be the, you know, the workhorse for us. Right now, we feel good about a bunch of guys and, and um, even saw some guys later get, get some valuable reps. So we'll, we'll see how it works. But I, I know that we have a, a, a bunch of depth there and we have a, and we have an offense coordinator that utilizes all his weapons, and so I'm, I'm really happy about that. Okay, we'll have some question question now from uh, Mitch and then Jake. Kalani, how has your program uh, improved or seen growth since BYU was invited to the Big 12 Conference a year ago? Um, I, I think when we got the invite, is it okay, looking at the, um, the teams in the conference, what can we do with our resources and, and make sure that we can match up and um, – that that's probably the place that I would I would go to first. That saw new hires and um, it's a different game when you get a bunch of guys that can that that, that um you know that you, that you can help out and it's really become um, you know the it's basically focus on one thing. We had a bunch of guys on a support staff that are kind of spread thin and and we're doing a lot of different things and now guys are just mastering their craft. And whether it's recruiting or player personnel, whatever it is, with uh, football operations, you're seeing it um, work a lot uh, cohesively, you know. And uh, if you're looking at us adding all the different people, that that was a big part of how we handled the uh, the, the uh, lightning delay last week. We had a bunch of hands on deck that could figure it out and have some expertise in the area and gave us feedback and gave us a plan and. Away we go. It, didn't, it wasn't left up to me as a head coach to figure all this stuff out. I, I'm not a. I don't know anything about weather, you know. And so, 
Um, but we have professionals that get it done, and that's a big, big part of what what needs to happen here. And and uh, I'm glad I'm glad that we're heading that direction, we're trending that way. Kalani, I wanted to ask you, you saw Gary Bohannon last week. He was the quarterback when you guys were played in Waco last year. But Blake Shapin has taken over as the Bears' new quarterback. What do you see are differences between the, the two of them, if anything? Well, Shapin's got a live arm. He's got a really strong arm, quick release, very accurate. Uh, I think he was accurate last week, too. So, uh, But what I've seen, is, and, and great poise. I, I mean, uh, you know, they, they have... Um, I think they're a really good quarterback on on their team right now. So the um, I thought Bohannon was really good too. But you're watching him, and I think think the thing that stands out the most is that he got a really strong and accurate arm. And and then he's in the backfield. He looks just looks like a veteran back there, and still young. And so um, you combine that with a physical, strong O line and. And I think their tight ends don't get mentioned if the tight ends are really good at what they do. Big boys that can block and catch the ball. Uh, the running backs are very physical, get downhill, they can, but they can also make you miss. And then they have some really athletic and just so much speed at the wide receiving group. So uh, a tough team to deal deal with. And and uh, when you put that mix that all up with a, a quarterback that's accurate and has great composure, it becomes a problem, so we have to prepare for their best, and hopefully we can match up against them. I feel good about our, our team. This will be a great test to see where we're at. Looks like we may have time for one more question. Jared Lloyd, do you want to have a follow-up? Yeah, let's just talk a little bit about health. Um, I know there's interest in the wide receivers, of course, with Buka and Gunner. Um, Gabe Summers was helped off. Just wondering how you came out of the USF game health-wise now that uh, we're at Monday. Yeah, I'll probably know a little bit more later today. You know, I, um, right now can't count anybody out yet, so um, probably have more for you in the next couple of days. But there's some guys that are questionable. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens, and probably have more of an idea tomorrow. Would be the best time to ask that question when the coordinators are available for you guys to talk to. <laughs> I feel bad leaving Jake Hash. Can we just let Jake ask a question, Duff? Is that, is that okay? Absolutely. Okay. You're, you're the coach. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll decide after he asks ahead, the question. <laughs> uh, yeah, just quickly, Kalani, your relationship with Eric Mateos and Jeff Grimes, well chronicled, you brought both of them into BYU to be assistants there. What's your relationship with them now versus what it was when they were on campus? Oh, still really good. I mean, we, we keep in touch as much as we can. Um, and, and I want to know what's going on in their life, you know, um, Mateos is expecting a, a, a newborn, him and his wife, so they're uh, in, in a few weeks, you know, so I, I, I can kind of give him some advice on that one. Having uh, it's been a couple months now that we have our baby, so um, and then and then just always interested in what's going on in their lives. We when they when they were working with us, we, we became really close. This is a close group here, you know, we, we have uh, we consider each other family, we spend a lot of time together, and so. Um, you know, with, with Grimey, it's the same thing. I'm, I always want to know what's going on with his kids, uh, with his wife and his family. So we're, they're always going to be close friends and family to us. And that's we just have to play against them. That's all. But a lot of love for those guys. Coach, thanks a bunch. Appreciate you joining us today. All right, guys. Thanks.